All right, guys, welcome back with another video. Uh, again, this is a uh, 2012 Toyota Highlander base, 2.7 liter, with four cylinders, of course. And we're, go we're going to install this um, spiral cable because my, uh, what do you call this? My, uh, my cruise control is not working, so I hope this will fix it. All right, let's remove the airbag from the steering wheel and let's go from there. All right, so pretty much for now, we need this uh, flat screwdriver and some very thin hook there, fish hook, a ratchet, and a T30 socket right here. So I have this extension and I'll show you where I'm gonna use it. All right, I'm already here. So we're gonna remove this cover right here and that's a cruise, cruise control that that doesn't work so i hope after putting the new uh, spiral cable it will work so let's remove right. this i just removed this using the flat screwdriver remove the the passenger side and now this is the driver's side right here so we're going to use this flat screwdriver again and remove it i don't care if it scratches i don't care there you go just pops out this is the t30 that we need that we use that we have to just loosen it it won't come out like totally so we're just gonna lose it same thing with the this is the driver side and same thing with the passenger side so let's loosen it guys so we can remove this um, airbag well, it is loose now so let's remove the airbags right here and there's a lot of cables there I mean connectors that we have to unclip so here it is right there so I'm just gonna put down a camera and um, around with all the connections. I'll show you guys this one to loosen it. And you need this fish hook right here. Loosen this so you can uh, remove this and wiggle it right here. Now I already loosened it. All I have to do is wiggle it. I think I need my two hands removing this. I need my other two other hands. So the two cables are off. And now we're gonna remove this. Um, I, I think they said this is a ground. So we have to use, there's a clip too, that we have to use a long nose right here. So I just grabbed the long nose right there. So the airbag is off, totally off, right here. So let's remove all the uh, cables that we have to remove. So, and I'm gonna mark the steering wheel too, because YouTube says, uh, when I was watching the video, you have to put a mark here and mark there, so you know where to put it back. Let me get a permanent mark. All right, I forgot to tell you guys. We have to remove the negative part of this battery while installing those um, spark cable. Let's remove it. All right, I just disconnected the negative uh, part of the battery, so yeah, there's the positive, obviously. All right, let's continue the installation. All right, I marked it. As you can see, I use a Sharpie right there. Right here, 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 and there, right there. Just wanna make sure this is aligned. All right, so to remove this bolt right here, it is a 19 mm socket right here. It's a 19, and we need a ratchet too. All right, let's loosen it. Don't remove it totally, because uh, when you remove this um, steering wheel, it might hit your face. So just loosen it a little bit, and then if it's loosened, you can totally remove the bolt. All right. Bolt is off, so I already loosened this. So let's remove it. I need my other hand, so. All right, guys, so this cable was here, and I'm gonna put it and then on the new one right here. Wait for the click. There we go, that's the click. But I noticed this is different right here. This one to this one, well, this is a new one, so I guess we have to use this. All right, next one, we're gonna get a screwdriver to remove this um, casing. And we have to use the lever here to put it up and put it down so that we have room to remove the top and the bottom one. All right, so this is how it looks like. So we're gonna remove this connectors right here and put it on a new one. And we have to remove this. So I watched, there's like uh, three fish hooks right here. I can see it. One here, driver's side, passenger side, and one on the top. Okay, let's remove it. I already loosened this too. 
this one was connected here and this one was oh this one was connected here and this one was connected here uh used a flat screw you can figure it out i forgot to show you Sorry, so the fish hook that i just told you i already removed everything it's easy so all we have to do is pull this outside oh there's uh, there's a wire still connected there so we're gonna remove it all right I'll show All you right, so the the old one is totally off the steering wheel so I watch on YouTube too we had to remove this casing too and connect it to the other to the new one all right I'll figure it out because I forgot how to remove it they said there was like a couple of clips there I'm gonna find out uh, let's go I just remove the part right here it's just a couple of clips you can figure it out too if I did if I did it you can do it better yep right here so let's connect this to the new one and the new one is right here so this is the new one it's on there already you you you'll hear a couple of clicks and it's pretty firm so all right so let's install it so i connected all the cables there make sure that you hear the click so three cables one two and three as you can see the new one is clipped we're gonna do this later after i put the steering wheel all right that's the new one right there See, I can't turn it because it's still locked and it's brand new. Double check the cables if it's really connected, which I know it is, but um, I just want to make sure I heard the click right here, right here. Okay. All right, so the casing and housing is already there. All I have to do is put the screws back and let's right, go. So I tried to put the steering wheel back here, right here and uh i can't put it back because this is still here so let's remove it guys let's break it there we go oh, i will break there we go now it's broken now it rotates so okay let's put back the steering wheel all right so i aligned it already so let's put the bolt the 19 millimeter bolt right here all right, let's tighten it. All right, so that is tight. It's not going anywhere. Yep, and let's put this back. This is the cruise control right here. I hope it works. If not, I'm not gonna post this. <laughs> I'm not gonna post this video if it, it doesn't work. All right, guys, so I just installed it. So this is pretty much easy because it's color coded. Make sure you press this down so it locks. It locks in place, it's not going anywhere. All right, from your airbag. All right, so everything's uh, in place, all tightened. I'm just gonna put the screws here. I'm not gonna put everything back yet because, uh, I mean, the cover I can put, but I disconnected the negative um, battery and that negative part. So let's connect it again and the moment of truth. If this doesn't work, I'm not gonna post this on video, on, on YouTube. Sorry guys, already connected the battery, so the negative part battery. So I'm gonna put the keys here. I wanna make sure. Okay, and uh, clear. My good neighbor was calling me, so okay. So let's see if the horn works. Oh, it works. So I guess all the connections are. Uh, so I don't know if the cruise control, oh. The cruise control works now, right there. Look. Hey, successful guys. I'm so happy. I, I saved $468 from the Toyota dealership. They're charging me that. Oh my goodness. Cruise control works, guys. All right, let's go. Guys, thanks for watching. Everything works, so I guess I'm gonna post it on YouTube. It was a success, so it is the spiral cable problem so we, all we had to do is replace it that's it you know this is an old car there's a there's an 11 year old car maybe something's burnt there one wire that's why it's not working now the cruise control i see the light of cruise control is working so it was a success saved 468 dollars fellas all right thanks for watching